Shisui Uchiha, the prodigy, Hitachi's best friend, and the wielder of the Kodo Amatsukami, sacrificed himself for the Hidden Leaf Village and gave his last eye to Itachi. He prevented a civil war in the Hidden Leaf Village, and it cost him his life in the process. But what if Shisui survived? With no eyes, he fell into the waterfall. What if he dragged himself out of the water and somehow managed to stay alive? Well, the likelihood that Shisui Uchiha did survive is pretty much zero. It's always fun to talk about these hypothetical theories. So today we're taking the viewpoint that Shisui Uchiha survived the fall in the current Naruto timeline. But this is where some problems start to arise. Because if Shisui survived in the normal Naruto timeline, where was he? Why didn't we see him? Why didn't he come back? If Shisui were to survive, he would have most definitely come back to the leaf. So I've thought of a few possibilities as to why he wouldn't come back or why he wouldn't come back to the leaf as a shinobi. So before we lay out any theories about Shisui, he needs his eyes back. Because if he were to survive, he's missing two eyes and his whole character was pretty much centered around his insane Sharingan ability. So I think an easy way to give Shisui his eyes back is have Shisui go on a little journey. Have him find some ancient Uchiha temples, maybe even have him find an old Orochimaru hideout. Have him discover a forbidden jutsu that somehow allows him to get his eyes back. I think it would be cool if we could tie it into Orochimaru. I don't know exactly why Orochimaru would develop this jutsu. Maybe he was doing it for when he eventually would get Sasuke's body, if anything would happen to go wrong. But yeah, he discovers an eye transfer or an eye replacement ritual, something along those lines where he can get his eyes back. But that doesn't mean take them away from Donzo. It kind of means just getting new ones with the same abilities. Basically, they just like grow back. That's just one way I could see Shisui getting his eyes back. There are other ways that I could also see playing out. But in the world of Naruto, there's so many crazy forbidden jutsus. You can bring people back from the dead. I mean, I don't see this as too far-fetched. So now that Shisui has his eyes back, how can we possibly begin to explain where he's been during the events of Naruto? Well, for starters, if Shisui were to survive, I think he would definitely visit the Leaf Village. After all, he'd want to see if the Uchiha revolution was prevented, what's happened to the Uchiha clan, did Itachi complete the mission? And then from there, multiple different avenues begin to open up. But one person who really complicates this is Donzo. Because if Shisui comes back, Donzo could be exposed a lot sooner than when he was. So I see two really good options from here. So for starters, after seeing that Itachi completed the mission, Konoha is stronger than ever, Shisui succeeded. His sacrifice was not in vain. So I think from there, he could move to a remote village and live out the rest of his days peacefully, knowing that he succeeded. And I feel like whichever small village he may choose to live in, he can become the local hero of that village, defending them from bandits or whatever it may be. But anything he does combat-wise would be small scale. Because if he starts using his Sharingan a lot, word could spread to the Leaf Village, and then suddenly there's another Uchiha survivor, and that changes the whole story of Naruto. So it has to stay low-key and under the radar. Another option I could see play out is Shisui goes back to the village. You know, he's got the classic, the cloak with the hood over the head, like so many characters have worn before. Like when Jiraiya went to the Rain Village to confront Pain, he was wearing the hood to gather information. So Shisui could do something like that and ask like basically what happened with the Uchiha clan, just basically figure everything out, what happened to Itachi, and that's when he would learn that Itachi is now in the Akatsuki. And upon hearing this, Shisui sets out to find his former best friend. But as we know, finding the Akatsuki is no easy feat. It would be understandable for Shisui to spend a large majority of his life searching for this Akatsuki organization and being unsuccessful and just giving up because they're not an easy group to track down. I mean, we saw how much the Leaf Village struggled with them. But on the other hand, Shisui's a prodigy. He was in the Anbu at a very young age, and if he really put his mind to it, I could definitely see him tracking down the Akatsuki. But if he did that, he probably couldn't have ran into Itachi because, again, that would kind of break the timeline because obviously Shisui's thought to be dead. So maybe he runs into a different Akatsuki member. 
Like, let's say he runs into the zombie duo while they're on a mission, which means it's just them two. But even that's a stretch, because if Shisui really wanted to reunite with Itachi, he straight up might have just joined the Akatsuki. This is where all these what-ifs and hypotheticals get pretty tricky. But let me know what y'all think. If Shisui Uchiha survived in the normal Naruto timeline, what was he doing? Why did he not re-enter the story? Is it because he chose to retire and live peacefully after learning that his and Itachi's mission was a success? Or did he set out to find Itachi? Or was it completely something else? Let me know what y'all think, any ideas y'all might have. And I'll end it with this. Shisui Uchiha is dead. It's pretty much confirmed at this point, but I'll always love doing these theories and what ifs because they're so fun to make. And this video was kind of just brainstorming ideas. But if y'all actually want me to go into a full on story of like a potential scenario where Shisui Uchiha survived, just let me know. I'd be happy to make one of those. And thank you for watching.